Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video and today we're going to spotlight this is Tobbs or Taylor of Old Bond Street hard sandalwood. Now I took the puck out and put it in my little salsa bowl here. I soaked it in a little water. Um, I don't like to lather soaps in these containers because I like to keep them looking good and look the water is the enemy of wood unless it's sealed really good and you never know with these things so I don't chance it. I just take the puck out and then when I let it dry out real good I put it back in. We're going to be using the Italian Barber, Italian Flag um, Brush Synthetic, which is um, a really nice design. Now, the first one of these that I'm aware of was the Razor and Brush, a bore brush that was designed that has a much bigger handle. But this one has the same style of design, which is a really nice uh, Italian flag. And uh, this brush got a pretty good bit of backbone. I chose it today because this is a hard soap and again there's a look at the soap and I did soak it a little bit um, to soften it up because it is hard. I have never used the Taylor of All Bond Street hard soap or uh, yeah hard soap <laughs> excuse me. A scent on this is about uh, I'd say about 7.5 not as quite as fragrant to my nose as the uh, as the cream but I hope it works as well as the cream. I don't know we shall see. I'm making sure I get a good load here. To me that's key and uh, ensuring you get a good lather. You definitely, with a hard soap in particular, want to make sure you're getting a good load. All right, looks like we've done pretty good on that front. Let's wet the face and get going, stand by. All right, so we have wet the face and let's see how we do. A lot of backbone on this brush. I have to say, um, this brush here, if you're looking for the feeling of backbone, it is quite stiff. Still pretty soft, but man, oh man, dramatically different in backbone from the brushes that I'm accustomed to. And again, I picked it today because I was using a hard soap. Uh, one of the things about these synthetics, if it does feel a little stiff, just soak it in a little more water and it'll soften up some. But this guy here definitely brings it on backbone. Pretty nice lather on this soap, I gotta say. Feeling pretty good. Smells, um, virtually the same as the top sandalwood cream uh, perhaps not quite as pronounced but feels pretty good it's kind of dry let's add a little bit of water here and there we go there we go that's good right all right we got a thick lather here um, so no problems lathering this stuff after i Soak that puck for a little bit. Let's uh, get some of this, cut some of this down. That's good. All right. Also today we're going to be using the Razor Rock Black Mamba. And I got a special aftershave for you guys today that you may not have seen or used yet. So stay tuned for the post on for that. Let's see how we do. Yeah, so it feels nice. Oh yeah, good residual slickness there. So... On the performance front, just based on the first few strokes, uh, pretty good. Again, I think the scent on the cream to me is a little more pronounced and it seems to me to be a bit spicier. I don't know, maybe it's not, but to my nose, that's what I'm sort of detecting. Um, but we're not having any problems utilizing this up. It just doesn't have quite as much of that as the, uh, quite as much of that um, beautiful spicy sandalwood, you know, Taylor of All Bond Street cream is known for. A little more mellow, I would call it. It's still a great scent. And it's doing very well. I think I got this one on sale because there was a shop going out of business a while back. And I picked it up because it was like, I want to say $18 for the soap and the bowl or something like that, which was a very good price. All right, so there's pass one. It went well. Let's wet the face, come back to pass two. All right. Excellent. No problem with pass number one. Everything hit its mark. The, the black mamba, the, the brush here. Like I said again, don't expect from this brush, you know, that plus on, um, the way it yields very easily and it doesn't push back. This one pushes back. So if you get it, be prepared for that. Now, if you are somebody who wants a synthetic with backbone, 
try this guy. Boy, is it densely packed and um, it is considerably different in feel than my other synthetics. Beautiful handle, again, that was created by uh, the de original design was uh, created by uh, Zach Plavridis of Razor and Brush, and then um, they they had it made through with through uh, Omega and sold through um, Shoebox Shave Shop, I want to say, and then Omega later started making the same design. Um, the original ones came with uh, the R and B logo on it, and uh, then Omega liked it, and they uh, started selling a non R and B one, and now uh, Italian Barber has one of the same sort of design. And they're all good. If you like boar, you, you know, you can check those out. All right. Again, um, I think the soap is doing well. Sometimes people run into problems. Um, I think I saw, I'm not sure who it was. I want to say Nick Shaves, and he was using a hard puck, it might have been of True Foot and Hill 1805, and you know the True Foot and Hill 1805 cream is just absolutely superb. But the hard soap, which I've never tried, he ran into issues with it. It just wasn't lathering very well, if I'm not mistaken. And if I'm wrong, it was definitely someone else. But um, sometimes these soap manufacturers have excellent creams and, and the soap is not very good, like in the case of a uh, Trumper Eucris. Um, the cream is very good and the soap is horrible, or it was. I don't know if they've changed it, but just horrible, the lather and all the rest. All right, there was an excellent pass two. We'll come back to pass three. Stay tuned. But with this uh, Taylor of All Bond Street sandalwood, I have been pleased with it. Um, on the performance front, in terms of at least uh, the slickness, cushion, and glide and all, I think it's quite good. And the pose, you know, you can never tell, so I won't be able to say much about that later but overall I have been pleased um, with the performance here not quite as fragrant um, but definitely more than adequate and pretty darn good in terms of providing that good barrier to and good platform for that razor to go over so on that front uh, very good easy to lather so no complaints, it will be a keeper for me. All right, let's get a last pass in today. Man, I gotta tell you, it rained yesterday off and on. Like it would rain for 10 or 15 minutes and then stop, the sun would peek out and then it would start raining again. I'm hoping today we get a break, but uh, I don't expect it the way things have been going. It's just been, it has been raining for like three weeks straight as I've mentioned in a number of my videos, but whew, we could use some sunshine. Everybody needs that, that vitamin D. Man, this is a really nice shave. Yeah, very good residual slickness there. So <clears throat> all in all, I'm quite pleased with all the equipment. And again, stay tuned for an aftershave that you probably haven't seen yet, or at least seen anyone use. I don't know, maybe you have, but I doubt it. I just got it yesterday, and I'll show it to you during the post. Very nice. Mm-hmm. I love this razor, by the way, the Razor Rock Black Mom. It just works very, very well. Definitely a keeper. Don't make them anymore, sadly. I wish they did, because it's a very good mild shaver. All right, so there's our third pass. Let's uh, rinse the face, and we'll come back and do the post for you guys. Stay tuned. All right, so we've got the soap off. Face is feeling pretty doggone good. No problems with that. We're using our Thayers, because it's magic made by witches. Beautiful stuff. Let's get a little more there. Very nice stuff. And by the way, guys, one of the things about applying the Thayers if it's still present and wet when you put your aftershave on, you don't get as much burn. Um, so it does cut back on that burn. I don't use it for that reason. I use it because I just like uh, the what it does for my skin. Um, 
But if you're expecting a lot of burn in an aftershave and you've put that on just prior, it will burn a little less. So that might be a good thing for some of you. Let's review the equipment while we let that sit in for just a moment. The Taylor of All Bond Street Hard Puck Soap was quite good. Um, not quite as fragrant, but a good performer. Face feels quite good, and I say thumbs up. Italian Barber, uh, Italian Flag Brush, I call it. Great backbone for synthetic, uh, good, good price, very nice. And the uh, Black Mamba was wonderful, but sadly not made anymore. Really, really good. All right, for the aftershave, which is, I got to tell you, I was both excited and disappointed yesterday because a box came from Fine Accoutrements, and I was hoping all the rest of the soaps went there too, but it was just the aftershave. So I was excited that the aftershave arrived, but I was hoping those soaps would arrive too. Um, this is the Santal Absolute, brand new from Fine Accoutrements, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. Out of the bottle, it smells pretty dark and good. So a lot of times you don't know, however, till you let it set in a bit, but uh, i got to tell you, quite nice. And by the way, uh, when I remember to, I like to pour the aftershave out of the back, towards the back and not the front label, so you don't jack up the front label. That has happened to me on some of my aftershaves and you can uh, mitigate that by pouring it that way towards the back oh yeah that smells nice that smells quite good what does it smell like it's sort of um reminiscent of tobs sandalwood um it's definitely a good match it's a very nice spicy um it's just a great sandalwood scent, and I don't detect as much earthiness in this scent. It's a little more on the what I call the cologne side, like the Tobbs or Art of Shaving. Um, kind of, yeah, it reminds me very, very, very much of the Art of Shaving sandalwood cream, which is quite good. Um, this is nice. So if you are a lover of sandalwood, you may want to go and check this one out. Very, very nice. It reminds me of Art of Shaving cream. Yeah, really nice. Skin feels really good, too. Good stuff. Great job, uh, Todd from Fun. This is great. All right, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching me. Oh, let me mention one more thing. Uh, wearing a shirt from our uh, buddy David from uh, So Sharp Limited. If you want any shaving shirts, go check him out. Thanks, guys, once again for watching. And remember, as always, keep them up, keep them open, and follow the money to get to the truth.